Hey guys, thanks for checking out Clever TV. Data Ward here with Jocelyn Davis. Hey guys, what's up? And we've all been waiting for the much anticipated <laughs> Breaking Dawn Part 1 to come out. And we have Tinsel Corey in the studio. We're so lucky to have you here right now. Aw, thanks, buddy. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, you were here, gosh, a few months ago. And now yeah. the movie is finally coming out. Are you as excited as we are? I'm super excited. <laughs> Have you, be awesome. have you already seen it? I have not seen it. Really? I know there's probably a screening, but I'm thinking I want to see it at the premiere night. For the first time? Yeah. That I'm like watching it with everybody else for the first time. Yeah, what is it like when you're in the theater watching it at the premiere? Because obviously you have a lot of people who've worked on the mm. film. You have super fans who I'm sure have won tickets. What is the experience like in there? I think it's it's always cool to see like what people laugh at, what uh -huh. people um, are affected by emotionally, all that sort of stuff that ties together. So it's kind of like theater, you know, you get a reaction like right right away. People so, cheering when yeah. Jacob takes off right? his shirt. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, totally. So it's like you get that, you know, instant gratification. Oh, nice. the fans are like no other. I mean, how would you describe Twilight fans? Very passionate. Yeah. They're very, very passionate. Now, I was re-watching our interview from last time you were here, and you mentioned that Emily, your character mm -hmm. in Breaking Dawn, is going to be someone that maybe the fans might have a little trouble with. Why would you say so? Um, just because she is like the catalyst to sort of why Leah like breaks off in a way. Like you get more of that idea of like Leah's pain, where I think like Emily up until this point has been like the sweet, nurturing like character, and so mm -hmm. you don't you're kind of like oh Leah's just upset. Mm -hmm. But it's like you really understand sort of why Leah is like upset a little bit more in this. My job is to make her just really, really jealous. Sorry, <laughs> that Leah. was the direction I was given, and so I did that. Oh, nice. Oh, well, so would you be like, because we haven't seen the movie yet, but like, would you just be really close to Sam? Something like that. Stuff like that. Well, you guys are Yay. engaged, so I guess it does <laughs> make sense that you would love each other. What was different working on this film versus all the previous ones? Um, you definitely felt the magnitude of this film, nice. you know, when it was like New Moon, um, it was just starting to build up, right? And then you got that with Eclipse with more paparazzi and like the level in like Breaking Dawn, it was just on a whole new level of like how big it was. So there, was, it was definitely different. But what I loved about Bill Condon was even though it was so grand and there was mm -hmm. so much going on, he really took the time to sort of, um, find a moment and interact with each actor and sort of like appreciate them, which I, I thought was really great, you know, when he's dealing with so much. Yeah, I've heard that he's just amazing yes. to work with. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, also, something that I wanted to ask you is that you mentioned, you know, we've been talking about Leah. Would you say that like off, you know, offset when you guys aren't working, were you guys like, oh gosh, we got to stick together because we're the two girls with all these yeah, guys? Exactly. Well, so did you guys form your own little like girl wolf pack or were you guys all together kind of hanging out? No, we were, we were all together hanging out. And also Julia is very, um, you, you know, she's kind of like reserved. She had a lot in her mind and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like even our characters together, like Emily is the bubblier one. And uh -huh. I think Julia is very more reserved and sort of like, you know, in her own space. So what would you say is like your most fond memory from shooting Breaking Dawn? Um, huh. Oh, what was it? In the car, because we um, actually filmed on this island. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. Oh, right, I already said it. Anyways, um, so we filmed on this island, so we did get there, so we had all this like travel time together, and it was like me, Boo Boo, Kiowa, and Tyson in the car, mm -hmm. and we were playing like 20 questions where you're like, I am I was like the queen, and they had to like ask questions to see if they would get it, and we played this game for at least like four hours, and it was just like <laughs> one of these like sweet, cute moments that like, we, you know, it was the journey was like ending, and it was like really beautiful. And just like even like taking the ferry over and having those moments, ah, oh, tear. Um, but it was just really awesome to like have that with the boys again. What was the Aww. last day of shooting like for you? <laughs> like saying goodbye because you know this I don't know been... if I want to hear. Yeah. It's gonna be sad, right? Um, there, you know. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I'm actually this is sinking in right now. Yeah. I think it was just sort of like you know we had this dinner. It was actually Chaske's birthday, and it was like we're all hanging out and. Um, I was just like, are we all gonna be friends after this is over? And they're like, of course, Tinsel. But you like, it's like summer camp, so you like never know. And right. we've had this like awesome experience for the last two years. So it was just that thing of like, wow, this is like coming to like a close. Even though we have all the press, so it like keeps it alive mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah. But for filming, it's like, oh wow, there's like, you know, no more filming going on. This is it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, you, like you said, there will be a reunion with yeah. the premiere. And we do up like Twilight everything. conventions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, but the actual filming, filming park, and actually it was hitting me the other day where I was like, there's no like other parts that we're like filming. It's like, 
Anyways, yeah. not to depress so everybody. That's great. <laughs> but let's talk about the excitement yes, of the premiere. Let's. What is it like walking down the red carpet with all of these media sites there wanting to talk to you, all of your biggest fans on the carpet yelling out your name? Just like kind of explain it for us. Bring us there. Um, it's just a crazy experience because you kind of like for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Um, it's just like the energy, like you really just like, it's like if you're at like the Super Bowl and that energy is like just there, it's like hard to describe. I think even when you're in just the like stands and stuff, you can just feel it. It's like electric and it's just like, you're kind of like, wow, this is my life right now. It's, it's an incredible moment, especially since like as an actor, you work so hard to get to that point. So to have that is just the most awesome thing. Yeah, it's probably like so gratifying to have like a actual moment where you can mm. be like, okay, this is a really big deal. And you have mm -hmm. to just take it in and not get like um, nervous about it or not be scared about it. Just like embrace it and just be like, this is just my moment right now. And exactly. just like enjoy every part of it. Mm -hmm. Now your your character in the movie has a scar, which is yes. you know a big part of the storyline. Um, do you feel like you can be incognito out in public because people expect to see you know your character as you out with the scar in public? Yeah, I mean people don't recognize me until I actually go yeah and the girl with the scar and then they're like. Oh my god, you are. <laughs> um, so I'm able to like, you know, move through fine, mm -hmm. unless I have bangs, so I just cut these again, so now um, people might, rec I don't know, maybe they will, maybe they won't. But in Breaking Dawn, I didn't have bangs, so I'm going to confuse everybody Ooh, now. Oh yeah, watch out. Oh my gosh, what was with the <laughs> hair change up? I just asked, I was like, do I need to cut bangs? And they're like, no, it's okay. No, they grew out. Oh, oh no nice. big deal. Tell us a little bit about um, the process of makeup, getting the scar put on your face. Um, well, for Breaking Dawn, uh -huh. it was actually um, the quickest process out of all the movies. They had some new really? sort of like latex application thing, and it only took two hours this time. <laughs> only so with two <laughs> hours just sitting there. Oh my well, gosh. the longest it took was eight hours, two so hours. I was like happy with two. Right. But like <laughs> eight hours? This one time. Anyways, we moved past that. Long yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, because they scheduled in my makeup time, I'm like, are you sure? Do I need more time? This is incredible. <laughs> and yeah, they put it on in like two hours for Breaking Dawn, so it was Good. Movie magic. Yes. Seriously. You know what almost <laughs> happened? They almost added another scar on top of my like oh my nose. And I was just like, what happened? Did Sam attack her again? <laughs> I think we need to talk to somebody and not add more scars. Fill me in on the storyline here. <laughs> what people. has happened? Was there a rewrite? <laughs> so. Well, thank you so much for stopping Thanks by. For having me. We are so incredibly excited about this movie premiere. The countdown is on. Oh my goodness. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Make just sure saying. you guys. Guys, keep it here at Clever <laughs> TV because you know we are your hookup for all things Twilight Saga, especially as Breaking Dawn Part One, the debut, is about to happen. That's Tencel right. Corey in Thanks, the studio. Guys. Thanks for coming. Thank you. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Later.